In this video, we're gonna share with you how we change the color of the vinyl in our RV. And we're starting right now. As you can see, the vinyl in our RV was showing its age. And after doing some research, we decided to paint them instead. Please keep in mind that I am not a professional painter, just a hobbyist trying to save some money. For us, this was a simple and easy solution to the problem that we were having with the decals on our RV. So let's show you the process that we used. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be a part of the conversation. For the first step in this process, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash our RV. And if you watch this video right up here, I'll demonstrate how to do just that. All right, so now that we've already gone ahead and washed our RV, we've got a mixture of TSP, and we're going to go over the top of the vinyl one more time. For the next step, we're going to go ahead and tape off the area of the strike. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to run masking tape along the top edge and the bottom edge of the line. Once the tape is on there, you want to go over it with your hand. What that's going to help do is seal that tape up against the side of the RV. It's getting little bubbles in there, it's gonna give little runs and stuff, and you don't want that, so. Now that we've gone ahead and put down our tape, and we've gone over it with our hand, the next step is we're gonna use some paper and some whiter tape, and we're gonna go ahead and build off a paper boundary so that we don't have a bunch of overspray on our RV. Here's a tip for you when you're trying to add the paper. What you're gonna do is use a whiter piece of tape, and you're gonna go right in at about right in there on the tape. And then make sure you're not going into the spot that you're gonna be painting, which is right up here. And we're just gonna roll past all the way down. Another helpful hint for doing this is to take a small section of tape and you put it on the bottom so if there's any wind, it won't go back up here and ruin your paint job. So let's continue on. This next part we're going to be using the Krylon Color Max paint. This happens to be a sat the satin Oxford blue and this is a primer and paint combination. And we're going to be painting this stripe right here. Now, shake the can. Shake the can. When you think you had enough, keep shaking the can. All right, now we're gonna start spraying. You're, and I wanna make sure that you understood that you gotta shake the can. The more you shake the can, the more it gets everything shaken up in there and you'll get nice, even color. That's why I'm telling you about it. So now, we're gonna go ahead and start painting. We're gonna do one really light coat first. And you wanna hold it about two to three feet away from your, your project. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and wait for about 15 minutes and then we'll do our next coat. And then you're gonna wait 15 minutes, you're gonna do the next coat. What I recommend is doing four coats of paint on your stripes. Now that we've got our four coats of paint on there, and before the paint starts to dry, we need to remove the paper from it. And the reason being behind that is we don't want the paint to adhere to the tape and then when we go to take it off, it's gonna be a big mess. So while it's still wet, we wanna pull off the paper. Now that we've got the paper off, now we're gonna take off the last little bit of tape, which is gonna reveal what the stripe is gonna look like permanently.
Lori and I would like to thank you for following along with us today. And if you know someone that would benefit from watching this video, go ahead and share this video with them. And if you haven't, head over to 3talesrv.com where you will find more posts and projects over there. Until next time, remember, live simple, live free, and enjoy the ride. And we will see you on our next video.